My name is, is Mark Urban, and I'm assistant professor in the EEB department at UConn. And uh, this is my amphibian rear end facility, uh, where I'm performing some experiments, and looking at how uh, salamanders uh, adapt differently to, to different predator communities. So the original interest in, in terms of amphibians is that they live in these, these relatively small uh, temporary ponds, and they're also very different. So you can be in one pond studying a certain population, and then go into the next pond, and things will be totally different. I work uh, basically on two salamander species, uh, the spotted salamander and the marbled salamander. So these are both, both uh, salamanders that you find uh, right around here, right up, you know, even on parts of campus. The, the spotted salamander is, is a, uh, a salamander that comes out and breeds in the, in the spring. These large black and, and yellow spotted salamanders come emerging out of the ground where they live most of the year. They'll, they'll make their way into a, a, a nearby uh, pond to breed. So once they, they breed in these ponds, they lay, the, lay their eggs. About a month later, these, these very tiny larvae hatch out. They're about the, the size of a grain of rice. They are the, the skittles of the amphibian world because everything likes to eat them. You have all these different predators that are, are consuming these things, and the question is, is how do they survive that predation? So one of the really fascinating things that I found using these salamanders in Connecticut is that these salamanders have evolved to deal with the specific set of predators that they live with. You know, you can be in a, in a pond here, and the salamanders have certain traits, and then you go to the next pond, and they've evolved a completely different set of traits to, to survive with those that, that set of predators. I've been uh, studying amphibians probably my whole life. Uh, I you know, was one of those kids that, that was outside a lot, and turned over every log, and, and, and splashed around in every stream and, and pond collecting frogs and salamanders. I love being outside. Uh, I love working with, with, with animals. And you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. You know, even despite the hard work and the long hours, you, you get this result at the end of the season that you know, just totally blows your mind. You never expect it. And it changes the way you, you view things. And, and it also changes the way other people think about how organisms respond to their environment, how they evolve, um, how the diversity of life is, is, is so amazing and, and, and so different in different places.